Have you ever ran out of hatch patterns when using Bluebeam? I will walk through how you can add additional hatch patterns to your library for free. So first of all, we're gonna go to Google. We're gonna Google free CAD hatch patterns. I already know I like these ones, so I'm gonna go to it. I'm gonna download the brickpat.zip, save as. I'm gonna go somewhere in here and save them, save. I'm gonna go back to that folder, extract them all. So now I'm gonna go to Bluebeam. I'm gonna open up a blank document. I'm gonna go to area, draw a square. I'm gonna hit none for now. Now I'm gonna go to my hatch patterns and then I'm gonna go all the way down to where it says manage. Click on that. I'm going to create a new hatch pattern set. I'm gonna call it test, click okay. Up here, I'm gonna click on import AutoCAD pattern. Now I'm going to go to where I save those patterns. And then I'm going to go to this garden one, click OK. I'm going to change it up a little bit. Click OK, click OK. And now I'm going to go back to my hatch patterns and then scroll all the way down where it says test. Click on it and now you have a new hatch pattern. Uh, my standard ones are from here down to here. There's not that many. So if I scroll all the way down, you can see that I already downloaded a bunch. So in case you're running out of hatch patterns in Bluebeam and you wanna add new ones, you can follow these steps and then download new hatch patterns to your library.